good what is it is it afternoon yet i don't know so uh, thinking about anchoring we spent some time um on saturday re-exploring anchoring um talking about brain structures about the six six or seven layers of the brain um, and that since we've had a neocortex you know we're able to um, learn new things and while we're learning new things uh, uh, the wiring if you like goes through the layers via the, 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 the neocortex and back down and as we become more familiar with that uh, new way of behaving the wiring becomes lower down in the brain so there's less conscious involvement in the process of doing that activity like when I learnt to play a guitar I had to think about doing G and C and E and D and now my fingers already know I don't have to think about it like typing at first when you're learning to type you have to think about it it's a longer process taking uh, frontal brain activity and then after that the fingers know the way the, the wiring becomes lower down now we went on to uh, talk more generally about anchoring you see <laughs> there is a very real sense that every one of our patterns of behaving that are wired into our neurophysiological system are triggered by anchors it's almost like the anchors are kind of transition points between one state and another between one set of behaviors and another so a question I might ask is how do you know it's time to brush your teeth you don't think about it you just go and brush your teeth how do you know it's time to have a cup of tea how do you know it's time to be careful with your partner because uh, you've you're just aware that something's not quite right or whatever. Yeah, All of these points of transition between one set of behaviours and states and the other are anchors. You know, it's uh, we can't escape them. Uh, we're being anchored and triggered all the time. Patterns are being triggered to run all the time. Now, when it comes to us as practitioners of NLP, birthing practitioners of NLP, we want to be in control of when, pa when the patterns of our clients run because as we found out, timing in the context of pretty much all the NLP patterns is very important when it comes to facilitating change. So that's why anchoring is important to us as NLP practitioners. That's why we learn anchoring uh, in the physical or kinesthetic modality first because we need to learn how to time the application of anchors. I hope that brings some clarity to the discussion around anchors. Thank you.